evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Updates. I am your host for this evening, Dwayne Sponseller. Beside me, we have Ryan Wilcox tonight. And, Ryan, we have some um, updated news out of Bush Gardens in Williamsburg. We heard a story this morning that oh, yeah, we did. they put up a height balloon. And if you don't know what a height balloon is, it's a balloon that they put up to look for maximum heights for specific things that they might be doing in the park. Most of the time, it's for the height of a ride. Um, it could be for other things as well. And so this is quite the interesting news that comes out of there. Someone even got an anonymous photo of the balloon up in the air. Um, so we're going to talk about here, Ryan, a little bit tonight, exactly what uh, could this mean for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, especially considering the fact they've already announced a 2018 um, attraction with the new VR stuff of Europe in the air. So, Ryan, let's kind of talk it over to you. And what exactly do you think could this be for Busch Gardens Williamsburg? Oh, this is such a hard choice. Um to be fair, I have no clue. See, they already have the the ride lineup and all this and that. Like they have the uh, their mock tower or whatever it's called. So it, it really can't be what I'd like to see is a Falcon's Fury Tower, similar to what's in Tampa. It really can't be that. And they've had so many issues with theirs. I doubt they would be building another one. But you know, I, I don't know how tall that balloon is. Like, I've seen pictures, but I can't really get a grasp of how tall that is. Well, well, well they're saying that the height is somewhere just a little bit taller than the highest point of Apollo's chariot. So if that gives you an idea of what it could be. Mm. <sighs> okay. Um, so if I were to put something in that spot just a little taller than Apollo's chariot, what – the height of Apollo's chariot isn't actually a hypercoaster, right? Because there's a uh, it drops into a valley, right? True, true. But, but okay. if you talk to other people who are around, it is the hypercoaster. It's one of the first ones being made. We understand that. Yeah. Danny Miller, it's one of his yeah. favorites, of course. So we can consider it a hypercoaster just because. I mean, yes, it does technically go into the valley and all of that. Well, yeah, I, I just I just wanted to know how tall the actual hill was because. You know, those Bush Gardens Williamsburg fans, they want that wing coaster. What if they try to steal that record from Gatekeeper up at Cedar Point? I mean, they truly do. it's possible. They really do. I don't know how possible that is, but well, it's out there. According to the story, they, they, the balloon was put up at the end where the stables are, at the end of Festa Italia, uh, that location in the park. Um, the stables are back there at the current time, and we'll put up the picture here to show you kind of the area and where they uh, said that this balloon was was kind of let off from. And, you, you know, Ryan, when I look at it, I don't think there's going to be anything at all. I know there's a lot of people out there who are hoping yeah. and praying for a big ride down there. We just had Invader. You know, we go long back, you know, really the biggest – Coaster was what? 2012 was Verbolton, of course. I think 2007 was Griffin. Yeah, but that was more of a family coaster. Right. So 2007, it, yeah. So 2007 was your last big coaster. But Busch Gardens Williamsburg is a family park. It's not like you're going to get yeah. a lot of high thrilled rides all the time. And when you think about Griffin, it really isn't that high of a thrill anyway, other than the fact that it's just a dive coaster. So to me, I'm going to go on a whim and say this is for fireworks. This They use this place very often for the shooting off of fireworks. I think they've done that before. I'm sure that that's something you have to do. It's probably some type of regulations in the state of Virginia that you have to do that before you can let them off. I don't know what the actual regulations are, but that's probably one of my guesses. Um, and, again, this is the way too early. You know, what could it be? We just happened to see this story and wanted to talk a little bit about it. But when it comes down to it, I just don't think the park is ready for something to go there. I mean, we've got 2018. We're going to have a VR experience um, on Europe in the air, or it's going to take the place of Europe in the air. And I, I just don't see something going that quickly for 2019. Now, 2020, you know, that's that 2020 number again where all these parks are supposedly going to have big things going on, and we can look forward to that in a couple years. But they've already got stuff on 2018. 2019, it's that year right before 2020, and you just don't know what they're actually 
going to get. So I'm really anxious to see if we hear more about this story moving forward or was just just something that they're doing for whether it be for the hot season or whatever. Now, going back to what you said in regards to a tower. I honestly think that if it's a tower, it is going to be something like Falcon's Fury or more likely a Starflyer or a Sky, you know, Skyfires or whatever, only because they don't have that at that park. And the Mock Tower, even though it drops and does kind of both things, it actually has the very, you know, calm ride to the top and it can also drop. They have a lot of problems with it. So are they wanting to take that out? put something in its place, or they want to put something on this side of the park, which might be a sky flyer or some type of swing ride, that's a good point. Because, again, a tower ride would be something you have to have that max height for, too. All right, Ryan? Yeah, very thoughts? true. I did not think about a star flyer, or I did not think about possibly replacing mock tower. Mm -hmm. you, you know, Falcon Fury is very popular in Tampa. That's it's exactly. always possible at this point, but I, I don't – yeah, I, I do have to agree with you, though. I think it's more realistic that there's going to be fireworks instead of actually having something big. But, you know, it's it's the way too early prediction show. We don't we don't know. We're just guessing. We, I don't think we've seen any markers or any pictures of them, so. That's true. We haven't seen any type of construction or anything like that. So this was, you know, just something that we caught – and I uh, thought we'd kind of give you a little hint of what's going on. Maybe you guys can uh, to dig up some information, especially for those of you down there in Williamsburg. You know, you can just send us a line and maybe see if you see anything else. So, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Feel free thoughts. to post them on our. Feel free to post them on our forums and stuff like that. That's a great place to share them. We'll use them on Uncut and give you and give your form account credit. That's absolutely stuff like that. All right. Well, we appreciate you watching this evening. And uh, for Ryan Wilcox, I'm Dwayne Sponsor. As always, may the Q lines be ever in your favor. And we'll see you next time here on CoasterNet Update. See you later, Ride Warriors.